Hello, welcome to another Wizard School homeschooling class and a very special welcome to all the non-magical humans who are once again joining us as part of the First Aid for Wizards outreach program. Today I will be covering the tricky subject of witches and warlocks, often misrepresented by the non-magical community and made out to be ugly, warty-nosed old hags gadabouting on broomsticks, causing the cow's milk to sour and weak-willed men to kill the rightful heir to the kingdom. And today's lesson is on witch trials. In the past, when the eyes of the God-fearing humans saw the devil wherever they looked, anything out of the ordinary or unexplained was deemed to be the work of dark forces. Men such as Matthew Hopkins went around the country whipping up villages into a fever and using cruel forms of torture such as sleep deprivation to force gentle spinsters and old ladies to confess terrible crimes under instruction from Beelzebub. Proving their point with tests such as pushing a witch pricking bodkin into their flesh. Some say that the devil gives witches special birthmarks and if you prick them they feel no pain. Just like this. Do not try this at home. Obviously, I am a warlock. Hundreds of so-called witches and warlocks were identified, and in England, in the main, they were hung from the gallows. But in Scotland, they liked to strangle them first and then burn the bodies in a public execution. It was not unheard of for the witches to survive the strangling and be burnt alive. This page here is from a chapbook published in 1789 and shows the last person to be sentenced to be burnt to death by an English court. Note how it says she was not guilty of being a witch but of forging silver coins. The truth is that she was indeed a witch and had not been forging coins but making silver bullets from coins to help stop a werewolf pack operating in the Lincolnshire Wolds. For this noble deed she was sentenced to be strangled and burnt at the stake. But as a witch, she was prepared. And on the morning of the execution, as the priest prayed for her soul, she cast a small charm so she could breathe through her skin like a toad. She was taken to the pyre, tied to the post, and as the rope was tied around her neck, they covered her face in a piece of calico, a bit like this. and they set it on fire. They saw the flames burn down and she was gone. Be kind to each other and always, always have an escape plan ready. Thank you.